In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, I bear witness there is no God but God, and God is the only one who has a right to be worshipped. I also bear witness that Prophet Moses, Prophet Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon them, are the messengers of God, and I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected Satan. So greetings of peace, and thanks for tuning in. May the peace and blessings of Allah be with you. We've got an excellent and informative video for you all today. We're going to be discussing... Uh, and things to prepare for the coming of Imam Mehdi, as well as the second coming of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon them, also known as Mashiach ben Yosef and Mashiach ben David in the Jewish tradition. So we've got some hadiths and some Quran verses uh, to help us understand what's going on today and what to prepare for the future. So let's get into it. Now, obviously, so many of these authentic hadiths have come to pass already, so it would be heedless of me. Uh, to not take heed to these hadiths. So these videos are more for encouragement and preparation. I don't want to be all about doom and gloom, but according to hadiths, there's going to be some 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 difficult situations ahead. So I don't want to beat around the bush and think everything's uh, better roses. Um, you know, obviously there's evil in the world, uh, and obviously there's good in the world, but God will win in the end. Imam Mehdi will. Uh, rise and transform the world from injustice to justice, from poverty to abundance uh, by the will of God, by embodying divine laws and commandments within his soul, and this will express outwards into reality. So the first thing, Hadith, I want to touch on is this one about the celestial illumination of the earth. So when he, Imam Mehdi, will make his advent. The earth will radiate with a celestial illumination of its Lord, and the scales of justice will be uh, sorry, positioned among mankind such that not a single person will oppress another individual. So obviously we discuss about how the earth was filled with injustice and will be transformed uh, to justice. And this will be done by filling the earth with godly energies, uh, it says here when Imam Mehdi will raise, so when Imam Mehdi is embodying more higher truth and wisdom within his own soul uh, by using divine scriptures, uh, these higher wisdoms, and then this this will radiate the whole entire world. Now we see proof of this, which I've stated in previous videos. Um, if you care to take a look at those, uh, what usually headings of the Schumann Residence. Um, this graph uh, takes uh, hundreds of different readings around the world uh, that measures the vibration of the electromagnetic uh, fields of the earth uh, and more they vibrate higher um, they gets picked up on this graph and if you want to take a look I'll put it down in the description box below. Now the Schumann resonance has been steadily increasing for many years now and is getting stronger and stronger uh, by the weeks and months um, uh, going by. So um, we're going to go to another hadith here that uh, Ali, um, he was the um, uh, son-in-law of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, and he said uh, the many will not come until one-third die of like famine and disease and another one-third will be killed probably through wars and such and and one third will remain so before the coming or the um before imam imam Mehdi will be known as a leader uh in the world that will happen two-thirds of the world will perish one third through uh disease pandemics and uh famine and another third will die through battles and fighting and then one third will survive so it's very important for us to um, uh, take precautions for this. Um, it also, in other hadiths, um, I believe a lot of this fighting will occur in the Middle East. As it states in this hadith, the Euphrates River will uncover a mountain of gold and the Muslims in the region will fight over it. Most of them will die. So things are moving towards uh, a more godly way of living. Um, uh, you know, scriptures, uh, religion are on the rise. Uh, spiritually, it's uplifting uh, all of humanity uh, through Imam Mehdi, the Mashiach. Um, so, my point is, is that 
the future the god's god's money is gold and silver basically and greed can be also a disease so we have to put our greed in check now we can be greedy over money we can be greedy over uh, stocks and bonds and whatnot or cryptocurrencies and people can have a disease for gold and silver so a lot of the greedy people looks like are gonna fight over this mountain of gold within the Euphrates River or the surrounding area and uh, most of them who fight for this gold will die so uh, so once this gets uncovered um, you know, you have this warning that not to go after this gold. Let those who want to fight over it, fight over it. Now, these videos are also in a way to help us prepare for the coming of Ibn Mehmedi, the Mashiach. So we know there's going to be uh, pestilences, diseases, and plagues that uh, and famines that will kill off one-third of the population from these hadiths. And then another one-third will die from wars. So we should take precautions. We should take health precautions. Um, and we should also take um, uh, financial precautions as well. So uh, I recommend having a little bit of cash, having a little bit in the bank, and having uh, a little bit of gold and silver uh, in your possessions. Um, you know, and this will help guard against possible, you know, if, you know, there's a run on the banks, you've got a bit of cash, uh, you know, things are moving towards gold and silver the way the economy is set up it's just a matter of time for it's going to collapse and we'll have to go back to gold and silver that there's going to be no choice so if you position yourself with a bit of gold and silver now you could be in a better financial position position in the future and also give some charity as well as that's important to help establish more wealth into this world um so you also want to you know be able to take care of yourself uh, with food and shelter and whatnot, clean water. So have a way to filter and clean water, maybe a distiller, have a distiller uh, at home, um, a water distiller, take contaminants out of water so you can take rainwater and distill it and be pure clean water. Uh, you can learn how to grow uh, different foods, etc. You know, if you don't have some land, maybe uh, buy a chunk of land somewhere or something to grow food or organize something of that way that you have some nice clean food um you know if anything does occur so just taking some of those precautions you know learn how to grow food uh have some gold and silver on hand um and other things that you might find necessary um if, if things hit the fan so um with that covered i want to give you a little bit more encouraging poem here. I've got a uh, combination of Quran verses to help uplift us, to help inspire us, to help perfect our light within us. This is how I perfect my light within me, is that I recite Quran verses and other scriptures uh, that I find benefit that are authentic, um, to embody those and um, increase me in light, etc. So, we're going to go with this poem. O oh, you who believe, be steadfast upholders of the right for the cause of Allah, bearers of true witness and equity, and do not let the enmity of a people move you at all to act otherwise than equitably. Be equitable always, that is nearer to being secure against evil, and take Allah as a shield. Surely those who have become secure against evil will indeed be in gardens and springs of paradise. This is the abode of the hereafter. We assign it to those only who do not seek self-exaltation in the earth, nor corruption. Indeed, those who guard against evil shall meet a happy end. Verily, that person who purifies himself truly will succeed both in this life and in the hereafter, and remembers and extol the name of his Lord and offers prayers. It will be said, Here is that paradise you were promised. It is for those who turn to their Lord again and again, seeking his mercy and observed his laws with care. Yet keep on encouraging the people, for verily encouragement proves useful to the believers. Walk with modest pace and talk in soft, gentle tone. Surely the most repugnant of voices is the braying of the donkey. They desire to extinguish the light of Allah with the breath of their mouths. But Allah will perfect his light, even though the disbelievers consider it hard. 
And who is more unjust than the person who is reminded through the messages of his Lord? Yet he who turns away from them, we will surely punish such of those who have severed their ties with God. So there's a lot to unpack in this. There's, it's a, so rich with information and knowledge and wisdom that I could read this over and over and still gain so much wisdom. So these are the, the techniques that I do to help raise my vibration is by reciting and studying these divine laws and commandments of the Most High God in the authentic scriptures. <clears throat> um, also, you know, this is video is designed for encouragement and preparation for what's to come. So uh, I want to be more encouraging. I don't want to be doom and gloom. Um, I believe that we can move through this with grace and harmony and balance. Uh, you know, make sure that we stay rightly guided. Uh, we do what Allah makes lawful and staying away from the unlawful things that Allah forbids. Uh, we do good to others. We give charity. We help the needy people. Um, you know, all these things will help a guard against evils and will create a paradise into this world. So we're going through a big transformational uh, period right now on the evolution of human souls. So it's very important that we stay grounded, that we stay within God's uh, laws and commandments. Uh, we uh, we have the time now um, to spend more time at home, to spend more time with God's words, and to embody these and, and learn more. Now, uh, we can gain uh, truth and wisdoms uh, from other sources as well that are of benefit as well. So uh, keep that in mind as well. So, you know, Allah, the purpose of this uh, creation is to perfect the lights of our souls. So that's what's really going on. So we're going through a position, uh, a position in time that is going to really test us, that's going to really um, evolve us spiritually, evolve our souls, and perfect our light. So keep all these things in mind. You know, take precautions of what may happen in the future. You know, pay, take heed to these uh, hadiths because so many of them have come to pass already. So, and it looks like, you know, we're headed in that direction as well. So make sure you keep your greed in check. Uh, make sure you take uh, precautions, um, you know, uh, you know, medically, you know, for health-wise uh, situations. Uh, all this could be a, a further preparation of other uh, pandemics and... Uh, things of that nature, uh, disease, and uh, possible uh, famines that may occur. So make sure we have, we can take care of ourselves. Uh, we know how to grow some food. Uh, you know, we can be a little bit more self-reliant. Uh, have a bit of gold and silver on hand and in, in your physical possession. I, I think that'll be a benefit too down the road as if things look like we're going to... Uh, change from a uh, fiat uh, usury system to actually a gold back silver backed uh, precious metal uh, system which is more of a divine way to conduct uh, mon uh, transactions and trade and uh, to run the economy more fairly and more efficiently and to take the injustice uh, out of it as well because so much manipulation occurs um, because of that uh, usury system. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you take a lot as your shield and uh, pay heed to what may come into the future. We've got uh, uh, amazing uh, sources for us, for us to prepare for what's to come. So may the peace and blessings of Allah be with you. I hope you take a lot as your shield and embody some of these uh, divine laws and commandments within your own soul and see the benefits for yourself and may the peace and blessings of Allah be with you. Thank you so much. Peace.